Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about Medicare Part D. So this one is kind of a little complicated, especially for the uh, benefit, the coverage later. So I'm going to try my best to explain it. So basically, Medicare Part D provides the coverage for prescription drugs. Individual can obtain Medicare prescription drug coverage by joining a Medicare prescription drug plan, enrolling in a Medicare Advantage plan, enrolling in another Medicare health plan that offers drug coverage. So whatever you do, you have to get it yourself covered on the uh, drug coverage. Otherwise, you're going to have a penalty. So that's something you need to know. So there's ways to get the uh, Part D, the drug coverage here. So the, um, so the premium, so in 2020, an individual pays a monthly uh, monthly pay plan premium and the annual deductible of no more than 435. Uh, so basically say your premium and the deductible won't be more than uh, $435 for annually. So some Medicare drug plans do not have a deductible. If enrollees modify adjusted gross income is over certain specified dollar amount, this is in 2021 amount, but I'm going to show you that's in 2021. That's in 2020. So enrollee will have to pay an income-related uh, adjustment amount addition to the plan premium. I'm going to show you here. So basically, it's like Part D premium. So they... Obviously, you have a different plan, many different plans, many different plans cost differently. See, this one is for AARP. I get it on the Medicare.com website. So anyway, so monthly premium is only $30.50. So yearly drug premium uh, cost was this $300. 366, so basically let's say $30.50 times 12. So basically your monthly premium times 12 will give you this one. You have a deductible is 310. So here say the chart below is to show you estimate the prescription drug plan monthly premium based on your income as reported your IRS return. So this one is a very similar to Part B. If you remember in Part B, uh, you can watch that video. So they is Part B premium also based on your uh, your MAGI uh, two years ago. This one is the same as well. So 2021, your premium is uh, based on 2019 income. So if you are married file jointly, you can see here anything uh, under $176,000, you, you just pay your plan premium. In this case, you can see your monthly premium is only $30.50. However, if your income is more than this, so your uh, month, monthly in the premium will increase like this. You can see it's more than this. Your monthly premium will increase to $12.30. So all the way, you can increase to $77.10. So you can see this uh, your uh, two years ago, the income will impact your premium both on part, uh, part B and the part D. So just uh, keep in mind, so if you have a higher income two years ago so this will increase your monthly premium on your part b and the part d so that's something just keep in mind there another thing you need to know is this is similar to part a part b your net enrollment so if you are let enrolled 
so you will be penalized. Um, so here says uh, the net enrollment penalty is an amount. They tell you the part B is the same thing. Is once you have a net uh, penalty, that gonna be with you for the rest of your retirement. That's just uh, permanently added to your Medicare drug or coverage premium. You may owe that enrollment penalty if at any time after your initial enrollment is over. That's a period of the 63 or more days in a row when you do not have a Medicare drug coverage or other credible prescription drug coverage. You generally have to pay the penalty permanently as long as you have the Medicare drug coverage. So here they give you an example. So basically say, say this person is currently eligible for the Medicare and the initial enrollment period ending in July 31st, 2008. She doesn't have a prescription drug coverage from any other source. She didn't join the uh, July 31st, 2018 and instead join the drug open enrollment period ended in December 7th. Her drug coverage was effective in 2017. So total is a uh, 29 months delay, right? Uh, 29 months. So you increase uh, 29%. So your basis is $33.06 uh, $33 per month. So that will increase you $9.59. Uh, Basically kind of like, a, you know, nine, $10. Let's say this is a give side is a ten dollar. In twenty twenty one, you can have a ten dollar per month. In ten dollar per month, that is uh one hundred twenty dollar per year, right? One hundred twenty dollar per year. You can have one hundred twenty dollar per year in twenty twenty one. One hundred twenty dollar per year in twenty twenty two. So basically, tell you this. Uh, penalty gonna be with you uh, for the rest of your retirement as long as you have a Part D coverage. Okay, that was your premium and your penalty. So, okay, so here is the coverage. Is it a little complicated? Just to remember that so you have an initial deductible. The deductible then you reach it to four thousand twenty, uh, four thousand twenty dollars. This is twenty twenty one. I'm gonna show you an example. It's very difficult to explain here. The example says John has a plan that required to pay the four hundred thirty five dollar annually medical part D deductible. So following the deductible, he pays the twenty five percent copay out of the next. Three thousand, uh, three thousand five hundred eighty-five of covered expense until the total expense reached four thousand and twenty dollar. You can see, uh, four thousand twenty dollar minus minus a deductible would give you this number, right? So basically, uh, you have to pay the deductible first. Then the uh the rest you pay only twenty five. Uh, percent of this 3585 which is you pay $896.25 out of this. Then the uh, Medicare pay the remaining amount. Then Johnson, the coverage, say, is in a coverage gap. So once you above $420, you are in the co coverage uh, gap. 25% of the cost, you pay the 25% cost of the name brand drug, 37% of the cost of the generic drug. This is all the way to the $6,350. Then after that, uh, you are responsible, which is the John, is responsible for a flat $3.60 for each generic drug prescription and $8.95 for each name brand prescription. So basically that's 
Just remember the、uh, number. First, you need to pay this much deductible, four hundred thirty-five deductible. Then after that, you have to pay twenty-five percent copay, which is about eight hundred ninety-six dollar up to four thousand twenty. So after between four thousand twenty, all the way to six thousand thirty-five. So they will say twenty-five percent that you pay the cost of name brand drug. Thirty-seven percent cost a generic brand. Then anything above this, then you only pay three three dollar sixty cents generic drug, eight dollar ninety five for the name brand drug for uh each prescription. So that's basically how your uh drug prescription uh is covered on the Medicare Part D.